Um, just kind of uh, get to know the players, look at the, um, uh, watch a KHL, watch a Riga Domino, uh, help out with the World Junior Tournament. Uh, so busy, and but um, number one priority now is uh, getting to know the players. And uh, you were consulting our under-20 team in Canada. Yes. So what are your expectations about our under-20 team? Yeah, you know, I'm um, for the for the length of time they had to get together this summer uh, and competing against uh, you know Russia and, and Sweden and those type of teams. I mean, those are our powerhouses. So I, I thought they did extremely well, and they should be proud of themselves. And uh, now they know they know they can play at level this level. Now they have to learn to compete at the next level and I think uh, when you play against a team like Russia and you play against a team like Sweden you know where the next level uh, goes. Uh, and did you saw one, maybe two players that you want into the national team? Uh, you know, there, there was a couple of uh, uh, Pelsch. Uh, I, I thought um, as the tournament went, he got better as the tournament. Gubertson, um, I, I thought, uh, you know, he's only 17 years old. But uh, between those two players, uh, if there is a chance of any anyone, uh, those would be the two. You have worked in NHL, yes, and we have great NHL prospects this year. Zemgus Gergensen, yes. If you would be a scout, in which round you wanted to take him? Oh, Gerbert, I mean, he uh, he did well. I mean, um, he's going to be. He'll probably be a first round NHL pick. Um, uh, where I would pick him, it all depends. I mean, it, uh, there's a lot of good quality players out there, but uh, he ranks right up there with the best of them. So, um, so hopefully he does uh, really well in draft. And but that's only one step. The next step is, is to play. But uh, he's certainly warranted to, to go in the first round. And uh, he has decided to play in NCAA environment. Yeah. What do you think? Maybe he needed to try some. Canadian Junior Hockey Leagues or is the right choice to play in NCAA? Well, you know, I, I come from uh, Canadian Juniors and I think it's, it's a great league but also NCAA is a good league. Uh, you know, some uh, people develop in, in both. Uh, you don't just develop in one anymore, and uh, but I think it, it's uh, wherever he feels comfortable. Uh, but I think if he's a first-round pick, he's going to go to the NHL real quick. So I don't think he'll finish off his degree. So maybe uh, maybe Canadian junior hockey. Okay, uh, let's talk about our national team. Yes, you are the head coach of our team. What do you think about team? Well, yeah, you know, I'm uh, I. Uh, from the players I saw in Riga, uh, Domino, and, and plus the, the other players uh, over in North America, I, I went and met with uh, Oscar Bartulis, uh, Kolda, uh, uh, and Donovan's plays in, in Ottawa, uh, Senator, so uh, plus there's some other players in the KHL, and you, you put them all together. I mean, it's uh, it's not going to be laden with superstars, but it's going to be laden with, with uh, good players. And when you have good players uh, that play with a passion and play with a commitment, Anything can happen. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, it's a game of mistakes, and the team that makes the least amount of mistakes is the team that wins. So, uh, we're going to try to play play a very competitive game that uh, is going to make Lafayette very proud. Uh, you have saw, you have seen m many games of Enamo Riga. Yeah? What are you thinking about the tactics? Are they are playing uh, the tactics that you prefer or they prefer? Well, you, you know, uh, some of the, the similar similar styles that I coach, I mean, uh, I want an aggressive style and uh, they seem very aggressive uh, in defensive zone, they feel very strong, so uh, you, you don't want to uh, change too many things because uh, there isn't a whole lot of time to change. But if uh, 14 players, 15, 18 players are used to playing a system, maybe you just grab a little bit of that and put it with us and, and mix in a little bit of what I have to offer, so it's going to be a, it's gonna be a good process has to go through the whole whole scenario. These guys are, are professional players and they should be able to adapt to whatever system that you want to put into place. And uh, you know, our Latvian players have always played in Russian style, yes, with great passes and so on, yeah. But you are Canadian. Is it hard to train Russian style player to Canadian style? 
It's, 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 it's hard. I mean, uh, I had some European players and actually I coached uh, Oscar Bartulis and, and Marty Carsons in junior hockey and uh, get them to adapt to the North American style. The North American style is very simple. I mean, it, we just go north-south. We just keep the puck moving forward, no uh, weaving and passing and, and dropping the puck. Uh, we go for the net hard and I think if you add a little bit of North America into the European style, I mean, you get, that's a great combination. So. Um, you don't want to take someone's identity away. You, you want to make sure they play the best of what they're capable of playing in the system that they feel very comfortable with doing. But there, there is certain things you have to do in order to win. If winning was easy, everybody would be doing it. I mean, winning's hard. And you have to do little things and simple things and, and on a more consistent basis. And, and you look at any team in, a, in, a, in hockey, every time they go through uh, slumps, they always say, we've got to get back to basics. And I'm a, I'm a basics type of coach. I think you, we have to do basics more consistently, more right, more often than the other team. Uh, you mentioned that you have trained over Oscar Bartels and Martin Schkersons uh, in Moncton Wildcats, yeah? Yes. Was, what do you think? Have they reached their potential? I have uh, well, Oscar's uh, has played in the NHL last year. He's uh, got injured and uh, he's he's on the men right now. And uh, I don't think you stop reaching your potential until you stop trying. And uh, I think there there's still a lot of potential. I, I look at Marty uh, uh, Carson's on the ice last night, and uh, there's no reason why he can't be playing in the National Hockey League. I mean, he's he's a talented young man. Um, uh, But he's 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 playing in his hometown right now, and he's happy. So, but if he uh, if he chooses to go back uh, to North America, I believe he could play in the National Hockey League. Okay, in the February we have a tournament to our national team. What kind of players you want to see in the lineup? Well, I'm going to be meeting with uh, with a lot of the players in the next couple of days. Uh, um, same with the injury front is. Um, Uh, there's going to be certain guys that uh, will maybe need some rest. They don't need to prove themselves at this tournament. So um, we'll be evaluating that as we go. We have a list of 25 players right now, 20 players that we hope to bring with us. And it's going to be a, a, a preliminary, uh, but I think it'll be a place where a lot of the maybe the tier two guys will have a chance to step into the uh, number one position. So it's, it'll be a good evaluation. Um. Let's talk about our leaders. Who are they? Well, you, you know, I, I don't, uh, until I get them on the ice and see them in the dressing room and I see how they uh, react, but uh, um, Sanis Oselinch to me is, is one of the uh, premier players in, in, in the world. Uh, and he's from here and uh, whether he won't, whether he competes this year or not, I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, but uh, you, you look at him, I mean, just uh, uh, it's like going back home and, and grabbing um, an Adam foot to say, hey, you want to play? And uh, certainly you want him too. So we'll be, uh, we'll be discussing that with, uh, but uh, you look at one, one guy, I mean, uh, to me right now, he's a guy in, in, in Lafayette. Uh, in Canada and NHL, there is a system that first two lines are scoring lines, then there is two checking lines. Yeah? In Europe, it is not not so. Yeah, there is all four lines can score. Yeah, how you will build our national team two scoring lines and two checking lines, or all could be a scoring lines? I, I think um, uh, we're we're going to build it the way the way we have the tools to build with. I um, mean, North America, the, that's the way they do it. And over here, that's the way they do it. But I think uh, the one, the way I coach, everybody has a role and everybody has a responsibility and everybody has a, a certain um, uh, attribute that they bring to the hockey team. So we mix them all together, put them all together. And, and sometimes it's uh, it could go top three lines and the fourth line goes out for the energy. Uh, maybe the uh, two lines try to score. Uh, maybe third line is a checking line. Maybe the fourth line is a, is a roll line. They just go out for some energy. So, but everybody on the team will have a, a significant role and in uh, a, a big responsibility. Uh, really, many fans are asking that question. Do rights even ants will be in your lineup? Uh, Calgary player. 
Um, I, I wouldn't say why not. I mean, he's uh, he, he's one of the very few uh, Latvian players playing in the National Hockey League. And, you know, sometimes uh, people are painted with a brush and say they can only play one style. And, and um, at international competitions, you don't need to be uh, fighting, but you need to be fighting for the puck. And you need to be uh, aggressive for the puck. And you need uh, big, strong guys. And he has NHL experience. So, uh, uh, but we'll we'll see how he does in training. Uh, we're, we'll definitely get him to to camp, and hopefully, uh, hopefully he's on the team. And uh, which young players will be in the camp? Well, we're we're going to be. Uh, um, I don't want to say two names without really confirming it with uh, with the people here. Um, but we're going to. Uh, there'll be some young people. Uh, there'll be some old people. Um, but the best thing we're going to get the right people. Uh, have you talked with uh, Alexander Nizhevi about playing in the, that championship? Because last year he said that he's ending his career in the national team. Yes, I, I haven't spoke to him yet, um, but we we plan on, on speaking. You know, um, I, I believe you, you play until you, uh, until you stop loving to play. I mean, if there's a little bit of love still in the game, uh, we'll welcome him back with open arms. Uh, we have little problems with our goalies, yeah. You know, we have Edgar Smasalski playing in Hantamansisk, yes. yeah, and the other guys are in the same level. It is Matis Uchers in Dynamo, mm -hmm. and what you can say about him? I, I haven't seen him play too much. Uh, every time I come, it, it's uh, the other goaltenders playing. But uh, you know, uh, we're gonna we'll, we'll have a, a system that no matter who's in there, uh, we can't um, let team score shoot 50, 60 shots on them. Um, it doesn't matter who's in it, but it does matter if you have a good team defense in front of them and, and blocking shots and, and and getting the pucks in and getting the pucks out. Uh, those type of things. So um, uh, with the goaltender. Uh, goaltenders always seem to be the last line of defense, but before they get to them, we want to make sure we, we do all our best. Which place we, we could took in the World Championship? Well, what place? Uh, you know, every year I coach, I never predicted where we're going to uh, finish. But the one thing I can predict is we're going to be ready, we're going to play as hard as we can, and we're going to finish where we deserve to finish. And I look at the uh, at the format outside of a couple teams. I think we can compete with uh, with anyone there. Uh, I think we can compete with uh, with Germany. I think we can compete with Italy. I think we can Norway and Denmark, uh, Czech. Uh, I think we can compete. So when you're able to compete, and there's a chance, and there's an opportunity, uh, you never know where we're going to finish. But uh, I predict uh, we will do well.